this for our brothers and our sisters who got shot, but we doing this for every black person. Because at the end of the day, I cannot take my fucking skin color off. I cannot mask this shit, okay? Everywhere I fucking go, I'm profiled whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Like, I'm looked at whether I like it or not. So, hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Christy King TV. <sighs> I just had to do that because like that's how I mostly sign in but today has been a, a long day for me and I had to do this video why I had to shoot this but yesterday I was just on my bed till about 3 a.m. in the morning and I was just scrolling and looking at a lot of things today we lost rather we've lost another wonderful strong black woman Oluwatoyin Salau she's Nigerian and um, her name means God deserve the glory deserves the glory yeah and I just see so much strength and and beauty in her blackness but i've been going through her her um so i'll try to like put everything inside and be able to talk to people through this i've been going through her page and i have seen like Somehow I want to ask like where were where were all her friends? If you see me looking here it's because I mid forties lives in a grey painted duplex apartment star house and drives a white clean Silverado Chevrolet truck. It shows that this person was like maybe had some money, it was rich. And then she goes on to say, anyways, I don't know, like, when you hear anyways, it's like something by the side. I was molested in Tallahassee, Florida by a black man this morning at 5.30 on Ridgeview and Park Avenue. The man offered to give me a ride to find some place to sleep and recollect my belongings from a church I refuge to a couple days, to a couple days back to escape unjust living conditions. Like that shows like <laughs> as if it's just something by the side like someone can just be molested anyhow like you understand it's just something that that happens on an any day basis like like somebody's child the fact that she's just 19 years old and she she see this comes from inside she speaks like this means that it is it is it is just a mess and you wonder this is why I say like those people around her what happened what happened what happened there was nobody she could she could just rest with even family members that she could go to I understand even out here of course like most times you're living away maybe you're living away from your family but the fact that nobody Ah. 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 Well. And I'll keep saying her name. Uluwa Twin Salau. I will keep saying your name. I will keep saying your name. Like the fact that she was in the front lines, she was fighting, she was doing the best she could. This was a 19 year old young woman. This was after she had been sexually abused by the same black men who were fighting for. Sometimes I, 
I come back to think who protects the black woman apart from God. Yes, I know God is kind and he's great and he's good. But who has their back? Who is there for them? And you wonder why like, they have to be strong, why they have to raise their voice sometimes. It's because of the woman has to protect herself. Not so long ago, she was seen as a second class citizen. And now she's allowed to vote, but she's still black. So somebody looks at her uniqueness and her wonderful voice as being angry all the time and her trying to show her opinion with so much strength is Oh, she's bitter and she's angry. And I just, it just brought back that sometimes, yes, you're fighting for something, right? But also being able to protect those people that are around you is so necessary. Like being able to love and show that, that, that love to those people around you is most necessary. If we could love and appreciate those people that are closest to us, check on them more often. Even like yesterday, I just had to check on some people that I have not spoken to in some time. Because yes, this quarantine and coronavirus sometimes just make me don't want to talk to anybody. Just want to be on my own. Just want to lay and just sleep. Most of the time, I'm like that. In fact, I mostly don't talk to, to so many people. Um, mostly just inside and just like with myself. I love that quietness. But what if something happens? Who's that person that's checking on you every single day? And I just have to reach out to some people that I might not even really want to talk to sometimes, but just not be selfish. And using this platform, if you need somebody to talk to sincerely, please write me. My email is going to be in the description box below please write me let's go back to Uluwa Tony Salau we doing this for him we doing this for our brothers and our sisters who got shot but we doing this for every black person because at the end of the day I cannot take my fucking skin color off I cannot mask this shit okay everywhere I fucking go I'm profiled whether I like it or not that ain't right. Like I'm looked at whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Being first of all, I want white people to realize their fucking privilege. Yes, ma'am. No one can look at you and tell anything about you unless you give them that information. Wherever the fuck I go, I'm profiled. Mm -hmm. Look at my fucking hair, look at my skin, bruh. We love it. This shit, I can't take this shit off. So guess what? I'ma die about it. Yeah. I'ma cry about my fucking skin. You cannot take my fucking blackness away from me. My blackness is not for your fucking consumption, nigga. It's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. And y'all need to listen. It's like I said, it's okay to be angry. Use wisdom. Don't move stupidly and get yourself hurt. Y'all already seen, we all in this together. I, I didn't mean to like divide anybody. We all in this together. My brother who got, um, he got ran over. Y'all need to know who the fucking enemy is. I, I, sometimes I get mad, but I'm not trying to divide nobody. Y'all need to remember who the fucking enemy is. It's right. racist Tallahassee. White racist Tallahassee. Say it again. Because those are the niggas that ran our fucking brother over. So y'all need to keep that in mind. The same, the same energy that we had when we were walking the fucking streets, keep that with you at all fucking times. Don't let nobody take away your blackness from you. Your blackness is not supposed to be subdued at all. It's not. Guys, remember to share love and not hate. Okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, of course, right? And I would like to see your comment in the comment section below. Bye. Spread love, not hate.